Good morning, everybody, um, dear friends, dear colleagues, and dear students, um, everybody in, pre in, in person and also online. Uh, let, let me start with a statement that we are in the midst of a crisis. Yeah, the coronavirus pandemic is having a profound impact on lives around the globe. And isolation, economic stagnation, contact restrictions, family violence, governmental control of individuals, spread of fake news, esoteric and pseudoscience, threats to mental health represent one of the greatest challenges to modern societies since World War II. And some think that this is just a rehearsal for the real problems we will soon face in the future, such as water shortage, immigration flows, new viruses, the extractions due to climate changes. It seems to me that the nature and severity of this emergency is not yet fully appreciated and there is little to no public discussion about the pandemic and the post-pandemic future. To cite just one question, should we always insist on measures that save bare life, even if those measures threaten the very values that make life worth living? What role could basic research like quantum foundations play in such difficult times? Shouldn't we just shut up and calculate? Perhaps more than ever, we need critical, skeptical and unbiased thinking, open-mindedness and self-correction to understand how to overcome the crisis and understand what life means to us. Philosophers and scientists can help us better understand the role of value and ideology in this journey. Finally, they can put science back into the context of our culture, where I think it belonged in the last century. Working on the foundations of one of the most successful physical theories of nature contributes to this goal. Researchers on quantum foundations collected an enormous amount of knowledge in understanding the most counterintuitive aspects of quantum theory. As Merman put it, the point is no longer that quantum mechanics is an extraordinarily pe uh, peculiar theory, but that the world is an extraordinarily peculiar place. But how and where should we go from here? Did we really understand all the consequences of quantum theory for our understanding of the nature of reality, space and time? What comes next? We at ICOKI Vienna and the University of Vienna hope to spend the next few days learning and reflecting with you on these questions. We have uh, done our best to make everyone feel welcome, regardless of whether they will be attending in person or online. However, as this is the first time we are hosting such a hybrid workshop, we would also like to apologize for any difficulties you might have. And now let us enjoy the talks and discussion and yeah, it's damn good feeling to have you all here back in Vienna. Thank you.